there once was a special place, a curiously magical space in a town like any other, with a breezy green meadow and swaying trees and leaves all a flutter. The town was called Brentwood, a cozy little site where animals ran freely, scattering about day and night. They all lived together, neighbors of fur and feather, having nothing in common except only the weather. Buddies is what they always were, but they just didn't know it. Will they learn their lessons in time? It's possible, if only they just don't blow it. Meet Fonzie, a bluebird and a sidekick Z, two happy-go-lucky birds, hopping to school feeling free. They came to the first branch where they met Sammy Sparrow and Fanny Finch, squawking at the storm, their feathers all in a pinch. Hey, pick up your trash! Just look at this mess! We have no room because you're a big fancy bird nest! How exhausting! Don't they know? We're all equal! Let it go! Bird babble, says Fonzie! Bird babble, says Z! It's just too silly to be that important to me. They continued on to the middle branch where they found Doris Dove and Robbie Robin in an egg-breaking early morning squabble. Feathers were flying everywhere. Your chirp, chirp, chirping is ruining my beauty sleep. Don't you know the hours that I keep? You squawk about sleep. Surely you jest. You wake me every night when you come home to your nest. Hmm. They want the same things, but have hit a big wall. They should certainly have empathy for each other, after all. Bird babble, said Fonzie. Bird babble, said Z. It's just too silly to be that important to me. Nearly at school, they heard the foulest pecking spree. It was Regal Ronnie bickering with Cory Crow over who should be leader of the tree. My eagle party knows what's best for our tree. We've always done things this way, don't you see? You think you're right, but your way is outdated. It's time for a change, they fiercely debated. Can't they see they're both right and both wrong? If they focused on solutions, they'd sing a different song. Bird babble, said Fonzie. Bird babble, said Z. It's just not big enough to be that important to me. Suddenly, the sky turned black, and violent winds shook the tree. Rumble, rumble, shake, shake, whoosh, whoosh, wee. Squawk, squawk, emergency, emergency. The biggest storm we've ever had is coming our way. Batten down the hatches and brace for the big one today. No sooner than he'd finished, the tree began to sway. The storm they'd all been fearing had now come their way. Lightning struck and thunder clapped, whooshing Mayor Al right off the map. Mayor Al, oh no, what are we going to do? Chaos erupted, and the birds froze like glue. This is important, shouted Fonzie. This is important, shouted Z. What really matters most is our community. Birds of any feather have to flock together, shouted Fonzie. The boy's right. We have to work together to save our community tonight. Setting aside their differences, they sprang into action. Each bird volunteered, setting off a chain reaction. Eagle held down the tree with his talons and beak. Crow tied the rope tight with precision and technique. Gather your children and loved ones to the center of the tree. We'll comfort them with our song, shouted Robbie. Oh my, we need a barricade to block out the rain. All I have are empty boxes. Perfect, we can fill them with our grain. The wind and rain tossed the tree to and fro. Hold tight, we're not going to make it, oh no. Dig deep, everyone! Hang on, have heart! Oh no! The barricade is falling apart! 
we need someone tiny to fill this space. See, that's you. Only you can keep it in place. The storm has passed. We did it. Hip hip hooray. Whoopee. Teamwork saved our lives, our home, our tree. It's not important who's right or wrong. Celebrating our differences is what makes us strong. Brilliant, said Fonzie. And brilliant, said Z. We are all equally important in our tree community. Friendship and compromise are the message of our song. Our community thrives when we all get along. 